We're sitting here with Kim Inman, who is the Community Relations Coordinator for White Rose Cemetery. And Kim knows a lot about the history of the cemetery and how it operates. Give me a little bit of background. When did the cemetery start? Why did it start? Well, the city actually um, incorporated the cemetery in 1898. Uh, before that, there were two cemeteries. Um, they were outlying. This, of course, used to be way outside of town itself. But um, it was closer to town than the other two cemeteries that were the, um, the Stokes and the Gilstrap. In 1898, I think, was the earliest I've seen something mentioned in the newspaper that said that the city fathers were looking to establish a cemetery near the town. But it wasn't called White Rose Cemetery at that time, was it? No. Um, in the older papers, it is known as the City Cemetery and the Union Cemetery. Okay. And um, then in the very early 1900s, it changed to White Rose. And we're not really sure, we can't find any documentation saying why the name had changed. Memorial Day was huge. And um, it's really documented in the old newspapers that, I mean, they'd spend the entire day, Memorial Day, and they'd, they'd have, it'd start in the morning, and they'd have parades that would start downtown, and um, the veterans would come out, and, and um, most of the decorating and the, the maintenance of the cemetery was done at that time. I understand you still do that kind of activity every Memorial Day. We do. Um, it is, along with the American Legion, uh, we usually have, and really we've had Memorial Day ceremonies ever, well, as far as I can remember, and according to the papers, really, since the early 1900s. Um, what we have, the American Legion comes out, and the VFW, and they're a huge part, as they should be, of the ceremony. Um, we have music, um, and they, we have a guest speaker, and um, the, a member of the American Legion usually will give a short speech. You also have a couple of other activities. What are those? We do, um, well, Memorial Day, and then we have in June, uh, during OK Mozart festivities mm -hmm. in town, we have a showcase event, and um, the cemetery board picks four notables that have that are either entombed in the mausoleum here or buried here um, that have different backgrounds um, just just interesting people um, that they research and then we have reenactors come in and they reenact the lives of these four people oh. and that's a that's one of the showcase events is really very popular and here we are at the white rose mausoleum All right. Oh, gosh. Jeez, these doors are heavy. Oh, wow, and is it cold in here? Gee, I think it dropped 10 degrees. Oh, wow, is this gorgeous. Come on in, let's take a look. Oh, wow. Look at this. Here's some crypts along the wall. Read Irwin, Conaway, Marple, Parker, Swing. And here's a bench with a poem above it. Hmm, I guess you can sit here and just kind of contemplate oh, all kinds of things. George B. Keeler is buried right here, and yep, there it is. George B. Keeler buried here with his two wives, Josie and Josie. George is one of the pioneers of Bartlesville, built the first store with William Johnstone south of the Caney River right here in Bartlesville, and then he and Johnstone also drilled the first oil well in Oklahoma, the Nellie Johnstone number one. In fact, I've heard that Nellie Johnstone, the daughter of William Johnstone, who the well was named after is right down that hall there. So, Nellie Johnstone is supposed to be down this hall. Let's see. Oh, look, William Tyndall. 
He was a U.S. legislator. And yet, there she is, Nellie Johnstone, born 1890, died 1970, 80 years old. Can you imagine all the history that she saw during her lifetime? Let's go on across. Look at the other hallway. Hmm. Smallwood, Caldwell, Shreves. Oh, no, I don't believe this. It's Uncle Bud Shreves and his wife, Cora, just like Jan McLeod was telling us about in show number two. At the time of the Nellie Johnstone bringing in the well, he was present and on the crew that uh, brought the well in the day it came in, in 1897. Oh, I recall as a little boy at Cora saying, Bud, you're a mess. It took days to get his clothes clean. It's like history coming alive. And there's Uncle Shirley Shreves and Golda Shreves. Ah, oh, that is great. <coughs> Let's lock this place up and then we'll go on over and look at some of the graves over there and see who's buried around here. <laughs> 